Oh, I'm on doggy duties again. So it's quarter past seven in the morning. Look at me move. It's like somebody sprinkled glitter all over my house. Look, it's wonderful. So we have to go outside of it. <laughs> um, but look, it's got frosty everywhere it is. Oh, look, glitter all over my grass. It's beautiful. Little Jack Frost has been very busy. Half past seven, most important job of the day. Your first cup of tea. Oh, first cup of tea, very important. And I'm kind of cold. I don't know whether it'll go off a bit in the day, but it's moment in time. I'm completely snotty, and I was even sneezing in my sleep. That's when you know that you've definitely got a cold. When you wake up in the middle of the night sneezing, who sneezes in their sleep? Ugh. Right, morning medication. <laughs> Right, are you ready, Florence? Mm -hmm. There she drugs my dear. Right. Ready, Fred? And Dolly, there you go. Is that nice? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> the sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hip. We've had some shine. Hello, Peggy, me, Pat, all my little friends. Bubba, bless him. I love seeing him every morning. Positive potato. I hope you're all feeling okay. Um, calendar of the day. Let's have a look. So, Jan how is it January the 18th? Wow. Uh, dive into cosy. Hot cocoa will help. Oh, yeah, definitely. Get yourself a nice, warm, hot drink this morning. Keep warm. But enjoy the sunshine. It's, I love winter sunshine. It's so nice. So lovely Lorraine's little book of magic. We've got uh, live boldly, push yourself and don't settle. That's right. Don't settle for second best. Why should you? Uh, older, wiser, sexy from lovely Penny. We've got um, I have everything I had 20 years ago, only it's a little bit lower. <laughs> Time is a dressmaker specialising in alterations. Oh, that's lovely. Happy Thursday. And I will show you. James is trying to bring me into the modern world. He's set a device up on me door in my upstairs toilet. Look, in a minute the light should come on, she says. Ta da! So you don't have to pull the light switch. <laughs> which James thinks is wonderful I didn't really want him sticking things on my door but never mind so he's still got his little shelf and his door and then when you shut it it goes off and then we open it again ta-da ta-da <laughs> ooh and look at it look how white it still is <gasps> it's very pretty though look ooh that beautiful blue sky. Ah, purse is nearly white. Nearly the same colour of snowflake. Oh, bless him. It's very chilly out there. Little bit. Very frosty. Here I am. I'm very snotty. Oh, it's horrible. And I've got to go to the post office. I've got to go out. So I've put this on and I don't like it. I thought, oh, I really love this. It's really like snuggly and nice. But because I've got funny skinny legs, um, this kind of looks too big and then my legs look really skinny and funny. So I think I might put it on my vintage shop. It's really soft and really warm, but I just don't think it suits me. And yeah, I'm not feeling the love. <laughs> breakfast. So breakfast this morning, I've got bran flakes. I'm just going to chuck some blueberries in it. And bran flakes for my friends. Dedicated bran flake fans. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Are you ready? Right, there you go. There you go. We'll have to find Winnie in a bit. I think she's still in a bed. Winnie's not daft, is she? She's not daft. No. Right, 10 o'clock. So, jobs this morning. We've got to do Tesco online food shop. Um, I've got to make a curry for tea. I'm just washing James's bed. The sun has come out, so <laughs> I don't think there's any point hanging it on the washing line, but we'll hang it on the washing line to get some fresh air around it. And my nose is like a tap. And I've got to go to the post office. I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, the curry is underway. Does anybody else make this? It's so nice. It's literally chicken breast chopped up, cooked, and then you add the home pride 
uh, sauce over the top, cook it 15 minutes, and then I just cover it over tin foil, leave it for tea for later, and then do my rice and stuff at tea time. So easy, quick, and so tasty. Right, trying to do my meal plan for the week. <laughs> I've been trying to work out my calories and stuff. Ah, oh. and I must say as well, that lovely Fiona shared her birthday with Dolly yesterday. Happy birthday, Fiona. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday yesterday, Fiona. Happy birthday to you. It's like my pen. <laughs> In fact, he lights up, look. <laughs> it's ever so nice to write with. It's so strange. I've had it years. Ooh. And there's so many calories, not calories. There's so many recipes on Instagram for low calorie like meals that I don't actually know what to do for tea every night. <laughs> it's confused me. There's so many different things I want to try, but then some of my old favorites that are easy to cook. Too much choice. That what we had yesterday was absolutely amazing, but it did take up a big chunk of the day. So obviously we had to do all the mash and the veg and stuff to go with it, but it was delicious. So I don't think I'm gonna do that again next week. I might do that the week after. Um, so many like nice things. Am I dreaming again? I've hung some washing out. I think it's about minus four. Do you think the washing will dry? Ah, <laughs> oh, and it looks like Dolly's given Winnie her egg. That's very cute. Because I never put the egg there. <laughs> Has she given you a present? She is kind, isn't she? She look after you. And she does this annoying thing where she sits at the door. She obviously wants to come in. So you open the door. And a lot of the time she doesn't come in. I hope you have to open the door about four times before eventually she'll come in. You're very annoying when it's cold. I wish she would just come in. Right, so I've rushed myself up some dinner because I need to eat this and I desperately need to go to the post office. I really don't feel like going out, but I need to drop a parcel off, so I've got to go. So I've got a bagel, two slices of bacon, some mozzarella, and a cup of coffee in me. I love shopping mug, and I've got a little bit of ham each with my friends. Ooh. Right, ladies, are you ready? So I need to have some Nurofen hurt myself up and then we can go right there's your ham and Winifred has not got out of the bed as usual <laughs> let's find Winifred and my tumble dryer is so noisy right there you go Winnie Pops get it it's underneath you it's underneath you it's there there you go no you're not sticking your nose on my plate I know it's only a bit of ham, it's not that exciting, but I think it still tastes nice. Wasn't well, it nice? Lovely. Right, I'm ready. So, I've got gleaming glaver on my lips. My nose is bright red. I've got a massive pocket full of tissues. Red scarf on. <laughs> my stripy jumper. Leggings. Um, and my coat. Let's go. Job's done. It's only five past one. Cashed in my winning lottery. Woohoo! Two pound. I'm not sure what I'm going to spend it on. <laughs> um, so now we're out. I think the fresh air makes you feel a bit better, actually. So, do we go for a charity shop rummage or do do we go home? What do we think? I might go for a little rummage. We've arrived. Oh, look at the little feet. I love little feet so much. They're so cute. All right, let's go for a little rummage. Deep, strong, very 
in the car. Um, I didn't really buy anything. What did I buy? A book. 
<laughs> and the key ring. And that was it. But it was lovely to have a rummage. Really enjoyed it. It was very interesting. Right. Now it's about 20 past two. We need to make our way back home again. Right. We're home. I know you want to go for a W-A-L-K, but we haven't got time. We've got to get Ruby soon. And we can't go to my neighbour because I don't want to give him a cold. Hooey! Hey! <laughs> Look at what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. Right, tumble dry on. I've got my washing in. It did dry a little bit, but it still needs tumbling. Uh, so, what did we buy? We bought this from my husband's car keys. Um, it's some sort of like insecty thing not an insect like a reptile thing but it's very tactile it's like bendy and i don't know i just really liked it i'm gonna put it on his car keys see if he notices i hope he will notice look how bobbly my gloves are they're awful um and i got this book i like looking at books and i thought try and read something different instead of the same old sort of love story thing so look at this one i imagine my hands around his throat thumbs pressing into the soft flesh could hear his choke please for mercy oh looks good doesn't it has anybody read this one i like the cover as well thought it looked very i don't know interesting so let's hope it's a good one i made myself a coffee i really could do with a biscuit or a big fat piece of cake i'm trying to resist right coffee drunk so i now need to go and post my neighbor's paper through um uh, bring a bin in bring my bin in and get ruby off the bus So it's melted and then froze again. Looks so weird. Right, I'm home again. So I've just remembered, it's a good job I did remember. I've got Ruby's online parents evening thing at four o'clock and it's 20 to four. So I've got to rush around doing my husband's tea now because obviously I can't do his tea while I'm on the phone to the parents evening thing and it's so embarrassing. They do it by Zoom or whatever it is and it's like, you have to look at them and stuff and obviously I'm full of cold. I don't want to look at them, it's so embarrassing. Oh, could do without this, but at least we don't have to go to the school, which would be take an awful lot longer because it's about half an, hour, half an hour away from where we live and stuff. So the fact that it is online is easier, but it's just annoying, isn't it? And embarrassing. Right, it's five to four. I don't know, I've managed to achieve this, but I've done the curry. There's my hobby, it's James's, mine, Ruby's eating hers. I don't want mine yet, obviously, so I'll have to warm mine up in a bit, but that's that done. I've made a drink for me and my hubby and I now need to try and get myself into position. <laughs> I'm trying to get myself so there's like nothing in the background and you've got these idiots running around near my feet. You now have to be quiet. No, don't bite my finger. You have to be quiet when the posh teachers ring me up. I've got to look professional with my red nose. <laughs> and no making funny noises. And Winifred, don't burp, fart or anything in the background. Right, parents evening online done. Now look at my feet. I was trying to have like intelligent conversations. I'd got Dolly hitting me with that long thing. I'd got Winnie grunting and banging into my leg with her face. And Florence just sat there, but I was trying to be serious. I had to keep putting my hand on and sort of like, shut up. <laughs> that was so embarrassing and so awkward. Obviously I was dying to blow my nose while I thought, don't blow your nose, don't sneeze. Oh, I've just realised I didn't flump my cushions. Oh, they'll be looking at me thinking, she didn't flump her cushions. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Oh, I've got sweaty boobs. I'm so glad that's over and done with. It's so embarrassing. I'm not very good at being an adult. And, like, obviously a lot of the teachers are younger than me. So you should be, like, more, like, confident and stuff. And I'm really not. I'm like a child myself. Like, talking to a teacher is, like, really scary. <laughs> right. So I think I need another coffee. Look at the state of my leggings. Winifred. Oh, you're making me burnt now. Winifred. Stop. Right, let me get up. <laughs> Florence, you are the star pupil. You sit there as good as gold. We don't even know you're there, do we? Sorry, Winnie. <laughs> are you the star pupil? You are a good girl, aren't you? Hey. Not like these two. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Winnie. She's like, I'm sat here and my bowl is empty. It's not tea time. It's only half past four. It's not tea time just yet. Not yet. Winnie, you like a little picture sat there. It's so cute. Oh, 
everyone I forgot to say, the teacher were very proud of Ruby, uh, the ones that I spoke to, and they said that she's a delight. What a lovely word. Little angel delight, bless her. So well done, Ruby. Ta -da. I'll put him on. Do you think he'll notice? <laughs> He's really cool. I love him. He's very tactile. Ooh, I decided to have a really lovely hot bath before the tea. Got to make feel a bit better, so I took some more Nurofen. Um, and let the bubbles commence. Look at the Avon bubbly bath, it's wonderful. So, I've got my Avon bubbles in it, but then I've also added some of this as well, which is uh, bath salts. So it's supposed to like help your achy muscles and stuff. But my mum don't really like this stuff because like she said, it smells absolutely beautiful of lavender, right? So beautiful. But when you read the uh, ingredients, there is no um, lavender in it at all. So how does it smell so nice of lavender? So she's like, this can't be any good for your skin because there is no lavender in it. It's really strange. I have tried it before, it makes your skin ever so soft, but my mum said it doesn't do your skin any good because I think this, is it lanolone or something? It's not very good for your skin. And when you read it, you think, yeah, you're sat in like lacto acid and stuff, so it probably is no good for you. But it smells nice, so I don't use it very often, but because I feel a bit rough, I thought, oh, I'll chuck some of this in as well. And I'm out of the bath. Oh, I feel rough, it's horrible. Right, so with lovely curry that I made earlier on, I've just warmed it up, and lovely popping on to so enjoy with it. Off to enjoy it. Ooh, the curry was delicious. It was so nice. <laughs> Dolly, you do make my house look a mess. Look how many toys you've piled up down here. Right, Florence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the noises. You sound like a broken duck. <laughs> Are you a broken duck? Hey. Broken duck, broken duck. <laughs> there you go. Right, my dears, I'll go to love you and leave you. Oh, I hate colds. When someone says, oh, it's only a cold, it is only a cold, but they make you feel horrible. I keep feeling like I need to sneeze, my nose all stuffy, and I can't smell anything now, and it's like, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> How rude, I don't want a bloody cold. I don't even know where I've got it from, it's horrible. So I can't even believe anyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> many thanks for being there with me again today. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life with its ups and downs, then please subscribe to our channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three flipples. My website is down below. My little Avon shop's down below. It's all down below. So I love you and leave you. Wilfred, I love you and leave you. I will see you tomorrow as long as I'm not too poorly. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.